Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome back to Rock 2022 AU and our second album choice for July. Our first album choice was Born in the USA with Bruce Springsteen, remembering our friends in the USA celebrating the 4th of July. There were lots of great events here, lots of people having fun. Even though it was a bit wet and cold, they still got out and had a lot of fun. Uh, we had about 10 pictures posted and some of the projects were really inspiring and gave me a, a nice smile and a good feeling all week, or 15 days, so to speak. Anyway, it's quite late here and it's getting quite cold. This morning when I got up, it was 11 Celsius, which is unheard of here in the tropics. It's been a long time in a winter we've got that low. And currently it is about 17 Celsius and dropping. So I expect it to be down by 11 or 10 Celsius, about 5 in the morning. However, I will be complaining about the heat before you know it. It doesn't stay cold very long. I'm a bit rugged up. So for the 15th of July, I was sort of thinking and Reeves came up with, well, everybody celebrates Christmas in July, even here in the tropics. They do lots of restaurants do christmas in july dinners because it's an opportunity to cook winter type food you know turkeys and things because our christmas is usually quite hot so yeah there are lots of christmas in july events and he said you should do christmas in july for the 15th and i couldn't really think other than one album that we have that's a christmas album and he picked that out for me it's on vinyl. I do have lots of different Christmas albums on CDs by varying artists, but this is an old album I've had since 1986. So our Christmas in July is Christmas with Elvis. Ta -da! Yes, this was an Australian release of a compilation of Christmas songs by Elvis that was released in 1986. And I do like this album and we'll break it out just about every Christmas, Reeb said I used to drive them nuts with it, waking them up in the morning, which was payback for when they used to wake me up when they were little. But yeah, look, I'm not a fan of Elvis, but I do like this album. And as Reeb says, I have played it so much, the tracks are just about worn off it. There are lots of great songs on here, but Christmas with Elvis. So, look, I haven't done a lot of research on Elvis, mainly because I thought most people would know who he was. And Reed, um, Thing is not well. He has the CV virus. Yes, he got it. Six weeks after having his fourth booster and his flu shot, he had, now has the CV virus. He's quite sick, but he is at home. He's not at hospital. It's just like a really bad flu for him. Um, it's about the third day and he is feeling a little better. But um, it's been quite busy for me because I didn't realise how much he actually did for me, even though he's retired. So not a lot of research done on Elvis. He was a cultural icon, um, considered a cultural icon of the 20th century and was dubbed the king of rock and roll. It was quite sad to lose him so young because I think he was really talented, even though I'm not an Elvis fan. As far as Christmas albums go, there are lots of compilations out there. But Elvis actually only released two Christmas albums in his lifetime. Um, since his death in 77, lots have been released lots and lots of compilations with his photo on the front and this happens to be one of them now i had a friend lizzie who passed away quite a few number of years ago she was a lot older than me she went to the u.s when she was 17 and was a las vegas showgirl for 12 years and one of the memories she shared with me and one of her best memories was she got to see Elvis later in his career two rows from the front and she said even though he was heavier he was definitely awesome to see very talented and there's no doubt he was a very talented singer with a great voice just probably a little bit before my time I have a brother-in-law 
who is probably uh, one of the biggest fans of Elvis. He has one of those bobbing Elvises in his car and right from when he started dating my sister, he's always had one of those in his car and still does today. When they wear out or deteriorate, he just gets another one. But he has probably the biggest Elvis album collection of anyone I know. So are you a fan of Elvis? Did you ever see him live? Please share it with us in the comments. I'd really like to know because I know how when Lizzie talked about seeing him, her whole face and body just glowed with excitement and how awesome it was. What else can I say? Not a lot. I, the album cover can inspire you. There is this blue and the first song on the album is Blue Christmas, which I really enjoy. Lots of Christmas decorations, Elvis. Beautiful smile. He always had a great smile. Awesome eyes on the back. So you can let the album cover inspire you or you can let the music from the playlist I put in the description below inspire you to come up with something. You know, there's Jowl House Rock, Blue Suede Shoes. I always wanted a pair of Blue Suede Shoes. I was 16 when one of my older brothers for Christmas gave me a pair of knee-high suede boots, lace up the front um, in beige. All my friends were envious. They were awesome boots. See, music always brings back some good memories. It can also bring back some sad memories because on this album is a song, and it's probably my favourite on this album, It Won't Seem Like Christmas Without You. That's because on the 12th of December, um, a number of years ago, my mother was killed in a car accident by a drunk driver and that first Christmas for us was just horrendous. And that song always makes me think of her, not in a sad way, but in a good way of all the great Christmases we used to have with her and all the fun she had with the grandkids. So yeah, what's your favourite Elvis song? You know, you could make a be inspired to make a Christmas gift early, ready to give to someone for Christmas. You could say it was an Elvis-inspired Christmas gift. Right, guys, don't forget to post your pictures on the Facebook group or on the Instagram with the hashtag rock2022au. Now, here's the bonus. I will do the participant prize draw for a $25 gift voucher at the end of the month as normal. But because it's Christmas in July, there's going to be a little bonus gift. I didn't do Christmas in July fairies this year. I sort of lost track of time and it was all a bit much for me and I gave it a miss this year. And I had done two previous years. You never know, things might be better next year and I'll get jump back in and join in. So because I didn't do that, the bonus giveaway will be a $10 pattern prize. But unfortunately, it will have to be through Ravelry. So you need to either sign up to Ravelry or be a member on Ravelry to claim the prize. I've had a few issues with Etsy pattern prizes, so I'm sort of avoiding any extra stress at the moment. All the same rules will apply. You have to be over 18 years of age, da-da-da-da. There will be some of the rules or rules in the description below, and I will do that pattern prize draw at the same time on the first when I do the participant prize draw. Now it can be for the pattern prizes for anyone who watches this video and leaves a comment in the, below this video. So make sure you leave lots of comments. It, it, it will go through the YouTube random comment picker so it will be one comment per person. No special words, just comment and I will pick someone at random to win a $10 pattern prize. So you pick the pattern, you let me know and I gift it to you through Ravelry. I'm not getting into the politics of Ravelry and da 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 da. It's just more convenient for me. And yes, I do use Ravelry. I'm, that's fine. It's, everyone's entitled to their own views, me included. Yes, I am cold. I'm rugged up in my bag o' day, come poncho, come shawl thing that I made years ago, sitting around home in that. Um, even thing who is normally not rugged up is you know he's all rugged up with a dressing gown as well and um reeves came to me the last night and said 
do you have a beanie I can use to sleep in? So yes, he finally relented and he's wearing something I made. And I, when he got up this morning, he said, oh, this is awesome. I'm keeping this one. So there you go. He came over to the dark side and he's wearing a handmade crocheted beanie to bed at night. He won't want his friends to know. Guys, I hope you have fun with Elvis. Look, he was awesome and died way too young. We lost too many artists at a very young age and I considered him way too young even though I wasn't a fan. I do like this blue. You never know what I might come up with. I hope you stay safe, stay well and remember peace be with you and let Elvis inspire you. Bye for now.